A shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the hundred percent truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth and also the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Shar Allah from the GMS Italia camp. And I just wanted to do this quick one. Hopefully, it's going to be edifying. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 9. I'll read from verse 9. Okay, it quotes The Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahusha is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you, for you, Yahweh, have never forsaken those who seek you. So, as you can see, it is very, very explanatory. You know, the Lord is a refuge and, and, and a stronghold for those who are oppressed in times of trouble. You know, we the sons of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Native Americans and Latinos are the real sons of Israel. Then you have Israelites spread around four corners of the earth, you know, and most especially in every every situation you find them, they're always the oppressed of the society. They are the ones under, you know. So those who call on the name, who know the name, you know, so this is verse 10, say, those who know your name, trust in you. So if you don't have the true name of the Most High, which is Yahweh, and if you don't know the true name of his only begotten son, who is the mediator in which you can, in which, who is the mediator and our high priest, you know, who, who stands before the Most High Yahweh, you know, for our causes, you know. This is Yahweh Shai. His true name is Yahweh Shai. His name is not Jesus. His, not, his name is not Yahusha. His name is not Yeshua. His name is not Jehovah. His true name, according to the ancient Hebrew tongue, is Yahweh Shai. You know? So we've been promised um, that we'll be, we'll be given um, a pure tongue. You know? Not this um, corrupted tongue that, that, that Esau, Esau is... Um, Esau has already put around, you know, just to, to put around his deception. You know, according to the book of Sephaniah, chapter 3, verse 9, you know, we'll be given a tongue, you know, to call on the name, which is this true name, okay? The language of Canaan, which is the Lashuan Kodash, the ancient Paleo Hebrew. So, you know, as you all know what's going on in these times, you know, I'm speaking from, from Italy and I just want to give a little update for what's going on. You know, over here, you know, things are really getting crazy. You know, the government keeps standing strong on the decision they've made, which it's all done by the Spirit. It's the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. In order to bring in this time of Jacob's trouble that he has told us right from time that he's going to bring out. So now we have the people working at the ports. You know, they are all protesting, you know. So, and this is going to also, um, have, um this is going to also going to cause um food shortages you know so the workers at the port they are they are rioting now okay they have lots of riots in different cities you know in rome in milan you know in trieste in genoa so you know the most High is really bringing about this this time man it's really bringing about this judgment upon this earth you know so we've also been hearing different stories you know most especially i'm on tiktok and on this platform you know you get to see a lot of you know truth coming out you know so we have you know people you know make videos and show you things you know tell you about these lies and how this um vicky 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 juice you know this serpent serum um the injection is killing a lot of people and it's been killing many people here in italy you know i also have a friend you know who we just spoke yesterday and he actually went to pay his house rent and his landlord asked him if he has been juiced up you know and he told his landlord no and the landlord told him that he made a big error for for being juiced up he said ever since they took the juice he has been feeling sick and he has not been the same you know and this same brother actually you know he has a sister down in nigeria who he spoke to and she told him of an incident that happened to someone they know actually you know he went he took the juice and under two hours this person died there is also a church 
a local church there in their city, you know, the pastor actually told the congregation to go get juiced up, you know, he told the whole congregation to go get juiced up and the congregation actually responded back and told him to be an example, he should go first to get juiced up. This pastor, this pastor went forward, he got juiced up and he died, you know, so the most I bring in judgment on these people, you know. And the most I even showing us, you know, opening our eyes and letting us know that, you know, this is a, a wicked poison, man, from, from Satan himself. And this is just to, you know, to, to get all you, kill you off, man. So, you know, the wages of sin is death. The gift of God, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, is eternal life. You know, the wages of sin, you know, this is a sin making curtains under your flesh. Whatever this man of sin has to offer, they are all sinful things offered to different gods that are abominable, abominable in the sight of our, our power, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So he has nothing good for you, you know. So Jake has been informed. Jake knows what's going on, you know. But Jake, just for a piece of bread, is going to give up and go bow to that image and get juiced up and lose his life. So what shall it profit a man to get to gain the world and lose his own life? So Jake needs to wake up and you know Jake needs to trust more in the most high Yahweh by Shem Shai. You know, let's let me see if um let me see if I can get some more precepts from this one. Can. This is the book of This is the book of Psalm 18 2. He quotes The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my power, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, and the honor of my salvation and my higher tower. Okay. This Vicky Venom is not our salvation, okay? Our jobs are not our salvation. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. Okay. Now, let me get the book of... Um, let me get the book of um, Psalm 37. Because this is the time in which you really need to know the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and how he operates. You know, you really need to trust in the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai with all your heart. If not, you can't, you can't stand what's about to come, man. This is, I'll read verse 25. It says, I have been young and now I'm old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor a seed begging bread. So the Most High, you know, he never leaves the righteous, you know, those who, who sincerely seek him, call on his true names, observe the commandments to the best of their ability, you know, and set their hearts to the kingdom that is, that's coming, man. You know, the Most High has never forsaken any or any of these people, you know. Now, let me get always from this same chapter, verse, um, verse 39, it says, but the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushai. He is their strength in the time of trouble. And the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushai, shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. So the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai will deliver us from all problems that we find ourselves, you know. The most type Yahweh Hashem Yahushai will, will, will he will feed us, man. You know, don't be scared of losing your jobs or whatever. You know, the scripture also lets us to know that we shouldn't think of what we shall eat the next day, what we shall wear, or how we go, how our going is going to be of. And the scripture also tells us that if if there is um if your right hand offends thee, your right eye you should cast it away. It's better to get into the kingdom of heaven without a member of your body. You know, in which what it's really going through is telling you if there is anything that is going to, you know, prevent you from getting into this kingdom, be it any family member, be it a job, be it a career, be it whatever, you know, you should cast it away. 
This is the book of Psalm 50, 15. And call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. So those, this is a question to those who don't really have the true names of the Most High Yah, Bashem Yah Shai. Then, well, you know, people always like to justify themselves. Their evil deeds, they'll be like, well, he knows my heart. He's going to answer me in times of trouble. No. Because if you truly love the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, you've had all the time you need to seek His truth, to seek His true name, you know. And the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai will be merciful unto those who accept His true name, you know, who call upon His true name, you know. This is an example of, you know, I have people who have taught this truth here in Italy, you know, they are they are not yet very well, you know, they haven't grown in this truth. They don't go out to do lessons, but as soon as I told them the name, they stopped calling on Cesare Borgia. They stopped calling on JC. They stopped calling on all other false names. And they started calling on the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. They pray to the names, you know. And they start teaching people in their own little circle, you know. And they start their journey in this truth, you know. So this is not an excuse, you know. Many people have heard these names and they purposely refuse it because it doesn't sound good to them. They are used to calling that JC and all that cracker name, you know? So, hey, you better, you better, you better start knowing the true names that can save you because oh, when all hell breaks loose, man, <laughs> there is no time, you know? This is the book of Psalm 77, verse 1. And two, it says to the chief musician, to J Jedutum, a psalm of Asaph. I cried unto the Lord, Yahweh. I cried unto God, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, with my voice. Even unto Yahweh with my voice. And it gave ear unto me. Okay. This is the book of Psalm 108, verse 12. It says, give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Okay, Esau has nothing good to offer to you. Esau has no help to give you. Okay, everything Esau has to give you is but debt. You know, he gives you something in order to exchange for something else. You know, all he has for you, all he prepared for you is debt. So, you know, you're being warned. You know, don't close and don't 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 close an eye to this truth and don't give a deaf ear to this truth. Because the truth is out, man. Everyone knows that even, even the Edomites, they know that the M.O., which is Marcus Aurelius, is the, is the potato chips, you know? The chip they're going to put into you, you know? So every, everyone knows what the, the M.O. is, you know? Everyone knows that this um, Vicky, Vicky Venom, what it does... Is to is to is to prepare your body for 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 Marcus Aurelius, you know. So this is to those who have not been following videos, because now the elders, the apostles, they can't speak, they can't tell you everything, you know, because videos have been clipped off, you know. Esau is actually censoring the truth, doing a lot lately to censor this truth, you know. So to those who just got into this truth and don't really know all these terms that we're using, you know, I don't know what to say, man. So anyway, I just wanted to share this short lesson. I hope it was edifying. I would like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Burka Kutash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.